This video is sponsored by Win Win Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Hall test, current and future configurations. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. We're cracking on with our final countdown campaign where we take modern jets and fight World War II battles. Operation Chastise. Chopsticks, send. Uh, well, more commonly known as the Dam Busters raid, uh, we're going to go and blow up a dam on the Caucasus map. So we've got our modern aircraft. We're taking off from Tbilisi, most of us anyway. Uh, we've got CAP and we've got some CAS. They're going to be operating in the nearby town. And we've got people coming from Batumi in their old World War II planes that are still around for some reason. But, you know, Mosquito, so that's cool. So if you go to the dam strike, you will see that because the dam is not destructible, sadly, there is a group of buildings next to the dam. So if one of the strike flights could take that out and the other one actually hit the dam, that would look cool. Uh, there's AAA and such to watch out for, Town and Cass. So if the grab guys look, there's an LZ to the southwest of the town. That's where you can drop your troops. They are not CTLD. They're airborne troops, etc. So they will depart from there, go into town. Uh, there's various ar armor and troops littered through those three towns. And there's three white buildings with priority targets that the CAS guys need to hit first, ideally. And troops and cargo is just a brief description for the helicopter guys. And today's flights. Odin, Tomcat, Whistler, Danny, Sock, Thor, F-16. Grump, Inator, Loki, Harrier, uh, Cypher, Markaboo, Freya, Bog, Shrek, Jigsaw, Shugs, Boulder, Wigan, Blood, Cap, Seahorse, Friar, Mosquito, the guys with the big balls today, Chef and Ali, good luck boys, Drop, bomb that down, Heimdall, are these um, real names from the mission, by the Asgardians. way? Yes. How about that? No, no, they're, 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 you know, they're, yeah, they're Thor and all that. Look, are you bothering to do Western research? Apologies. I would have just called it one, two, three, and four, but that's <laughs> why I'm an idiot. Spitfire supporting. Arty, Cena, yeah. uh, Ty, Empty, Hell, Hind, Chopsticks, Unexpected Blight, Frig, Hip, Tux or Brinks, uh, Bragi, Pimpo, Bree, and the Saint! That's the cartridge, boys. In you go. Click the buttons. Suck that data in. CK37. Well, I've never said something that's so nerdy. Can I do a test, waypoint test? You should have a bearing for waypoint 5 of two, roughly 290 at a range of 270 kilometers. Mike 5, agreed. 270 kilometers, we're going a long way today, Valley viewers. No TOD today, just gonna stay in formation and hit it when we hit it. You guys and your douchey rockets, you need RB05. Uh oh. I haven't got many pedals yet. I can't wait for you to miss with that cap. Mm. He's not very forgiving taxiways, are they? Mm. If you could get a MiG 29 around here, I'll give you a friggin' my mortgage to pay those. What kind offer? I can't turn left. You know I can't turn left. Ah. And we run out of fuel before I've even got the big runway. Unbelievable. I only have left 50% authority on the left turns. If we can avoid left turns, it'd be really helpful. 
So we turn left. Door flight following the F-14s. Get airborne since they take a while. The Harriers, don't mind the beautiful Wigans. Nice camo job. Sarcasm, by the way. What's going up? What is going up? Gotta be a Tomcat. Only one thing is that loud in the world. Yes, it is. Godspeed, Tomcats. I'll see you in hell. Don't lose it, Cap. Don't lose it. Not in front of the valued viewers, you don't. Can't wait until I get my new pedals. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Dragging them, it's nice. It's very nice. Best force in the world. Right, I've got an auto I'll go look for the code to uh, turn off our radar raging. I think I know what it is, but I need to be sure. Uh, off the top of my head, I think it's 253. I also think it's that, but there's 253 and there's the other one for disabling the uh, target motion measurement. I always get them mixed up. Roger. Nerds. Survey says 253. One thing I never got about the vegan is it's missing one of the most important instruments of any aerograph, which is the the yaw slip gauge. Why doesn't it have one? 
Um, I don't know. I mean, to be honest, most jets don't really do much slipping. It does. Well, I, well, onto the fly-by-wire, no, but this doesn't really have fly-by-wire. Yeah, if you look at the artificial horizon, you'll see just below it, there's a little white ball. Oh, then I take that back. But with the uh, kind of your damper system on, I never really have to use the rudder. Yeah, the only time I've used it was in that GR Games competition a few weeks back where you whack the rudder on max and it causes the aircraft to flip round. Interesting. Won't be doing that then. Just gonna edge it right slightly. Those rocket pods. Can you choose how to fire a single rocket, or is it always one blast? You either get all in one go, or you can do, um, yeah, one rocket from each. But nobody does that. Mm. Let's hope we can get some formation practice in valid viewers. If that's what you really are. I'm sure it is. Come on, Seahorse, put your pants together. So, Seahorse probably could try, and I've seen a video of the real vegans doing this, is a formation rocket attack. So, pull up at the same time, spin around at the same time, shoot in formation at the target. But it might be a bit tricky to keep formation as we're going over the top of the loop. Well, we'll give it a try. So what I normally do for long range rockets is pull up about 10 kilometers, uh, go full power, then count five seconds, boom, invert the aircraft, pull until you're looking at the target pretty much, invert again and you should be level, descending towards the target, have it in your sights, fire and you're good. Roger. You'd have to talk all the way through it, like you'd have to be counting out loud so you're all on the same wavelength. The Siri impulse switch in the down position. Cool, that puts it in long range rocket mode, and yeah, we should get some good hits. We've only got AAA today, so we're not worried about any kind of SA 15s or any of that nonsense. Mm. Pretty crap AAA as well, no Zeus 23 mic mics out there. Boat falls would be the worst. Hang on, Germans didn't have boat falls. Yeah, that would certainly uh, ruin your day. Mm. What's that one called? Veerling or something? Something like that. Full barrel 20 mic mic. I'd imagine that they wouldn't be able to track a target moving this quickly. I agree. None of that. It's a true story because. Remember, Bismarck couldn't shoot down the swordfish because they hadn't, uh, their sights didn't calibrate for that slower moving target in World War II. Yeah, I think you can make some very simple targeting computers just with the right gearing. And yeah, I suspect that they were optimised for something that wasn't moving that slowly. I'm in the process of trying to get the RB15 uh, Mark IV working at the moment. We've got the Mark I on these jets, haven't we? I think so, yeah. yeah so I'm playing around a mo a mo with a mod, trying to get the Mark IV working at the moment. Uh, whatever, however good it is in real life, I don't know, but that's uh, failing miserably. I think that's supposed to be pretty decent. The, the uh, Swedish have always had pretty epic uh, anti-ship missiles, since that's kind of their main thing too good in my opinion, bearing in mind they literally surf on the waves in DCS and can't be shot down, which is kind of annoying. Even the Mark 1s. Yeah, I mean, that's probably semi-realistic. Um, I'd expect them probably be able to shoot down a little closer than they actually do. But there are two reasons why the RB-15 is so powerful. Hang on, I'm just going to do a left roll now. Yeah, two reasons why it's so good is that A, as you say, it flies really low, but also it does that little weave, which is just enough to, uh, and wings level now, just enough to upset the sea whiz. Yep. 
So usually they can get one missile, but if you've got two weaving in slightly different ways, they can't they can't touch it. Apparently, I've been told by the valued viewers, it's all been surpassed now by the long-range anti-ship missile from America, the stealth missile. The uh, code is like, much bigger than it realistically could have, because essentially the ship, the damage model, not great at the moment. So what happens is either you blow the ship up, or even if it's on 10% health, it's a fully operational vessel. So they put a massive warhead in to basically guarantee a kill. Is this the 1-5? Um, yeah. So in theory, when, because I know that Obi said they're working on an improved ship damage model when it comes about, then we should have a much better RB-15. It might not sink the ship, but it will um, disable it such that you actually do some level of damage. Yeah. is the, the anti-ship missile hits the ship and then fires break out and people aren't focusing on launching cruise missiles and anti-ship missiles and so on and they can be taken out of the fight. Yep. What they'd have to do is split the ship into like 10 different sections that could each be flooded and I think that'd improve it a little bit. Yeah, well, I think what they're trying to do is simulate individual systems. So for example, the radar, you might be able to take out the harm even if the harm can't sink the ship. Yeah. Or, you know, you have the different guns are separate systems and so on. And as you say, they might have some kind of hull sinking, uh, flooding operations. GCI is now online. But it's, yeah, it's how much developer time they have and how much computational power it will take to actually make it work. Good to hear. I believe this Odin's has actually come from the World War II ship mods. They, they've already functioning. It's that you can take turrets out on those World War II ship mods. I think they're bringing that into the main game. flight is mixed in with Odin flight. That's cool. Yeah, I guess it takes a while. There's a lot of ship models, so going through them all, testing them, making sure they work properly, take a while. With all the other stuff that everyone's screaming at them to do. You have four contacts approaching from the northwest. GCI, they are there. at bra 3114. Oh, something miles. going on up there. You're at 4,500. What does it matter? They're the maximum southbound. 250 knots, whatever they are. Yeah, just keep your eyes out for any fighters, because, I mean, if they really, if they dive on you, there's a chance they can hit you, or if they come straight on. Someone could radio to Grav. They might want to get down before the enemy sees them. What freak are they on? Uh, FM. Okay, I'll let them know. Roger Swiss, I was talking about the LRASM, long range anti ship missile. Uh, which is, I believe, America, I believe it's a stealth, kind of a stealth anti-ship missile, in service now, as of three years ago. Again, I'm just going off wiki information. And apparently it can't be detected because it's stealth. It costs three million dollars a pop. And it's otherwise, uh, you know, anti-ship missile. But I don't know anything about it. Um, if we do get it, it'd be interesting to get it in game. If that's the case, what does it go on? A Super Hornet, I guess? An F-35, maybe? It's probably a big old thing. It's lovely fighting in these World War II games, Valley viewers, because uh, I don't really have to worry about anything. The, um, <clears throat> the fastest plane in World War II <clears throat> that we're worried about it's going to be what a uh, Dora at what 320 knots maximum, if that. And we'll probably never go that slow today in our vegans, so we've got nothing really to worry about.
apart from A, smacking our own face into something, and B, Crop um, maybe a very lucky, uh, Okay. Helos are currently being engaged by four enemy helos. They're at broad 281 for 28 miles, 2900 feet. They're in. They're mixed up. Oh, that's not me, problem. Oh, one copy is uh, moving in to prosecute. I think it's good. Yes, it does. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. I look forward to your track getting corrupted and then not being able to film any of that. Correct. Are you getting a lot. I'm getting a lot of sun glare today for some reason. Yeah, I think it's the uh, the clouds that have come out. What clouds in a GR mission? <laughs> not used to this. We never trained for this! I'm slightly worried about whacking these trees valley because I just can't see them at all. If we didn't tell you in the briefing, I've switched over to RB05, bullpop missiles. I'll be taking on the dam itself. Funky great warheads in these missiles. Next purchase, uh, uh, in game, will be the Apache, if that's what you mean. Oh, uh, nah. I mean, I can't really use it because I need to. How am I going to speak to the stream? How am I going to monitor? All the stuff I need to monitor on my left uh, in terms of video recording. It's just a bloody nightmare. And rolling right. Grab magic looks like one of the helos. Uh, waypoint down. 4 is our ingress waypoint, and then waypoint 5 is the target at the dam. Copy that. Uh, confirm that. I'm looking for uh, enemy warbirds. The waypoint uh, is placed on where those um, barracks are. So obviously, Cap, you need to adjust left to that. But it should be pretty difficult to miss the dam. Yes. Uh, Red Force should be Warbirds. So I'm going to go to okay. stage one now. Uh, Two. You're mixed commercial. commercial. Okay. So you'll try and get as close as you can, and we'll, we'll never go this formation thing, but if uh, it inevitably goes and kicks up, then uh, just make sure to climb out of the way before you launch your rockets. Roger. <laughs>
Pally bird on the nose. It's a tomcat. Tomcat on the nose, about five miles visual. Yeah, I see him. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I get that. And a warbird. That's on fire. Things are going ahead. Something's fighting a tomcat, fighting a warbird. Biggest mismatch in history. I'm still waiting for our QFE to be wrong, and it's the miss with the rockets. <laughs> Throw one, box three. Still alive. Box two. Flash one, Dora. Visual down. Fifteen. Watch me miss the dam, Valley Views. There go the boys! There go the boys! Four, five, roll, bring back the power. Roll again, A and F. They're slow, I might Vision be able to... target, roll. I might be able to catch all their uh, shots. And okay, there's my two job. sets, I'm going for the right pair, the right pair, you go for the left. Oh. Concentrate on your own Thanks job, Cap. Concentrate on your own job. Cap. away. Guide it, 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 guide it. Okay. Rock okay. it away, guide it, guide it. Hit! Two, two, I'll be five hits. As you done, people, let's uh, go home. Overload 401, are we seeing any more hostiles on the scope? The two warbirds from the original group are remaining. It's like clubbing seals, this is. Clubbing seals is easy. Very easy. Copy that, can you uh, vector me them? Stand by. I can club a seal. Are really shifting. Mark 1.3. What a plane. Two is reading Mark 1.3. Two miles behind. Go on, just stage one all the way back.
Hallo, fellow vegan. Ich bin auch ein vegan. Oder auch bin ich ein vegan. Please, you still have your pods on, so you know. Well, those things are expensive, you know. Better not. I just got mine in the dam. Look, we've had to bring those pods all the way back from the future. Not cheap. Right, 300 miles back, guys, I guess. Besides, the Germans might come for them and reverse engineer uh, the elaborate Swedish weapon technology. Pretty sure they're just dumb rocket blood. Pretty sure they had exactly the same. Nonsense. Germans can possibly manufacture a tube that good. <laughs> Thank you. I stuck behind that awkward place from stage one burn and mill power. No one likes that awkward place. No one at all. Did you hit your target? Oh, flights from the cap flight. Looks like yep. uh, the uh, generator is clear there. of hostiles. Uh, we got a message. How you see that? We got a message. Oh, I missed it in the excitement. Yeah, the Germans are very kind and they rang us up and told us everything's destroyed, so we don't need to go back again. Nice. Power one is transferred complete. Move back into the air. Did you hear the dam, Cap? Um, yeah, I literally got it right on the dam without missing. Excellent. Yep. Uh, not entirely sure what to do next, but we could come back with Mavericks. But Cap, if you want to jump in a tank and just run around. Yeah, you guys do what you want, I'll tank it. You've got 150, 150 bloody kilometers to go. It's gonna take forever. All stations pop up group four ship launching Sakumi heading south eastbound. No one copies on it. Imagine how quickly World War II would have been won if we actually had begun. Yeah, I'm not sure what you do to stop them, if I'm honest. Because they can come in way lower than any radar at the time you could detect. You can't really shoot them down with a fighter. I guess just put a lot of AAA around and hope for the best. You could stop them by not have in having invented kerosene yet. Ah, very cunning. Ground copies, uh, I assume it's from the airfield right in front of me. Copy that, that's why I'm here. Overlord, uh, so can you touch pair of 8-9 so I can give you the assist? You know which way they're taking off from? Yeah, 
taking off, uh, same direction you're traveling, northwest. Copy that. Alright, I see him. Have fun, Thor. You complained about inaction. Odin flight is outbound RTB in uh, bingo fuel. Copy that. Overlord, if you want, uh, enemy contacts can be abroad to 86 or 42 miles. Although, it really, you can burn anything in these jets. Yeah, it might not be the most fuel efficient, and the uh, techs would probably shout at you, but yeah, more or less. But yeah, I think it's true that they were now trying to shoot like them down at the air trying to attack their bases on the ground, because you know they've got limited amounts of kit. Yeah, that'd probably be the only way to do it. Invent the F-14. Yeah, that's an option too. That's why when both sides get time machines, just keep pulling out more and more down 20 miles to the northwest of the AO. Getting to hardcore physics. Yes. Damp Whistler, uh, contacts are now 16 miles in front of you. Well, there might be some infantry somewhere, but let me know what you're playing. 
Scenery Valley viewers, you know I like a bit of nice scenery. It's not as bad as the on Red Flag the other day, where we had to use stage three to escape from enemy fighters, and yeah, we did. We had barely enough fuel to get back. So I think landed with about three percent fuel. I wondered how the Mirage just managed to get themselves shot down by Tigers until I went and looked. They did their bombing and then exfilled out at 350 knots on half power. Uh, Explain it. brains. Meanwhile, we were doing Mach 1.3. Yep. They just chosen the wrong delta wing. Yep. They chosen the wrong attitude. I'm really annoyed because I can't fly those uh, red flag missions at all because I'm working on Mondays, but it won't change. You know what I think about jobs, real life jobs? <laughs> Not worth it. About 30 miles. 30 strange Swedish miles. Or, fifth, or five Swedish miles. Yeah, that makes more sense. Are you, are you going to do an air base to me? I have a fuel warning light. Uh, cancel that, can't be born. I, it's, it's, it's congratulating you on being so close to home. I see two bomb impact marks on the centre of the dam. And That's me! That was me, Artie! Right to I did think. I mean, I'd be more worried about the enunciated family if I knew what any of it meant. Just imagine if every single one says panic on it. Right. Loaded flight reporting, picture appears clear. Confirm picture clear. Right, I'm gonna dial the power back and slow it right. down. I say go faster, much faster. We'll try joining on the downwind and then do a break off to the left and straight on to the final. Right, Shoes on my left wing. Super cap. So it'll be cap, then me, then you see horse. Cap wants to do formation behind someone. Or we can just do it as a trio trying to land at once. Check. Yeah, what could go wrong? Big balls, the way of doing it. Well, lots of things, so let's try not to think about any of those. Right, 
down the power even more. Or about 20%. Oh, I'd put you air brake out if you want a little bit more uh, control. So I shall, I think I shall. I'm going to try not to clip his wings off. power band area again where I can't get the power I want so I've got to go fast slow fast slow fast slow which annoying it is and I've got a really itchy nose which I'm gonna to have to go for now itch solved back on the power find that power band can't find it because it doesn't exist all because blood has to have his stupid pods on Okay, I've done my fuss reverser, so I'm all ready. Okay, you know this level off there, and right, roll it now. Anyone, does anyone happen to know what bearing the runway's on here? Yes. Uh, uh, no. Some. All right, well, take a guess. And wings level now. Ah, uh, seems about right. Well, we took off towards waypoint one, so it looks about... I'd say about some. So, one six, yeah, that doesn't, that seems maybe a bit excessive. Don't ever think it, blood, don't ever think it. It's the worst thing you can do. Stupid cat never over well, I think this is what they call close enough. Yep. Okay, I'm going to go for a left roll now. It's hard. going to bring the power all the way back and oh. get it below 600, and then we'll deploy our gear. It throws the hold one. Couple of the traffic, special flight of two mosquitoes oh. inbound, uh, runways. Wow, and the mozzies are back already. Couple of the one of ours. Command, what's up? Should tug destroy? Don't actually know where we're landing. Yes. And at 600, gear down, thrust of us on. Yeah, this sounds good. Hold it, hold it. Hold it, super cap. Free the power. Keep it at least 400 through the turn. No, I've lost it. A bit more turn. Oh no, that's the wrong attitude. Power, all the power. And roll it out there. Slightly to the right, but we can correct that. Dialing the power back, aiming for 300. You got it. Trim, trim, trim. Trim, trim, trim. So I'll go middle, cap left, the horse right. Okay. And right. just use the... I'm just going to use the thrust reverse, so you guys use brakes in case uh, you start running into the back of me. But I need to spare Traffic, special on five. Sure, they didn't do this in the Swedish Air Force, but hey, forget about it. Forget about Edge it. it. Left slightly. Don't do that. Do anything but that. Let me know when I idle. No, 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 yeah, I went on the thrust reverse, but I started pitching into blood a tiny bit, and I thought it's just safe to abort. Anyway, I'm coming. 
problem is with once you um, got the thrust reverse, as soon as you put a slip tiny bit of rudder in it, you lose it. Yeah, it doesn't like you. Well, don't put the rudder in then. Well, it was either that or hit you. And I'm quite happy to hit you, don't get me wrong, but you would have bitched. Brakes on. Yeah, well, I just went full power on the thrust reverse, so in theory, if you put the brakes on, you should have slowed down faster. Mm. Well, theory is one thing, isn't it? Which way do I turn? I'm going backwards, for God's sake. Ah! Realize how expensive this thing is. I know you don't like left turns, Cap, so uh, we're going to do a turn in reverse. Yes, I know, that's good. We'll get a better turn circle like this. Look at that! In F3 mode! Perfect! I should have been a freaking lorry driver! A Volvo lorry driver! <laughs> Mm -hmm. Right, anyway, I'm going to go and do some um, combined arming. Oops. Cap is operating in the AO as an M1 Abrams. Please do not bomb me. This is a secondary target at Takumi Airfield. Interesting. Bomb that runway, yo. Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. Shrek, Overlord. Where are these? Where are these crowds? Shrek. Are you equipped for air engagement? Damp Overlord, contacts on your nose. Bra 316 for 26 miles, 4,000 feet. What do we got here? What have we got here? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Oh, German! Cap, are you still on whatever channel this is? Ah. Roger, and I found some Germans. Get some! Oh, wonderful. Oh, that um, works well. Oh, that Newark place, have they got a vegan? Yep. They do. Oh, very nice. It's um, it's not one of the one we have. It's a, um, it's a maritime reconnaissance version. It's pretty similar though, it's still the um, AGS upgrade, but it's like the AGS-F, I think. So it's got a few bits of different avionics, but it's mostly the same. Target, ceasefire! Well, there we go. Yeah, we meant to go to the museum for a while, because I drive past it on my way home every week. Okay, I have created a new cartridge. Okay. So, just same again, cartridge um, F10 by Budnop. Oh, where's the dam? Let's get to the dam. The dam, dam. So do you want to go for the runway or the taxiway? I think runway would be a bit easier. Yeah, we'll do the runway, why not? No, I mean one has got the runway and the other goes for the taxiway. Oh, okay. Uh, whichever you choose. Uh, oh, come on. You go for the runway, in which case put your weapon spacing on 60, so maximum. And I'll go for the taxiway and I'll put my spacing on a little bit shorter. Right, should have M5 Germans. is 350 kilometers away at a bearing of 288. Where were they? Yep, looks good to me. Where were they? Cool, going to be they? a long track over there, but oh well. Um, hey, you're not armed just yet. You, sir, are about to get browser. jammed. Yes, well, I have oh. measured this, and okay. stage 3 is slightly faster. Um, then they can fill it up. Oh, that's working well. <laughs> Target! Cease fire! Ha 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 ha! Get some, baby! Target! Oh, tally dam, tally dam! Do you know what? We don't have any sound systems. I'm going to go for a low drag dive bombing attack. You haven't joined me if you fancy it, or you can just stick with the hydrax. Helicopter. I'll stay with Hydrax. Yeah, the one I've done the last has got a very high chance of death. MI8. It's not too bad actually, it's pretty much the red bucket run you've just done, except you pull up a lot later and, and go up a lot less. Don't you shoot me! Don't but you shoot me! Yeah, I'll stick with that. Uh, right. Have they put the arms on yet? Yes. 
Command Loki, I believe all uh, target buildings have now been destroyed. Or are you popping up any AAA around the dam? I'll tell you, I believe we'll put down. Just gonna select B2. Wing level now. Tank. There he is. Get some. Oh, shot me! Quick, do something! Get off some of this! Oh ho ho! Yuck, Panzer fear. That's what happens when you miss. I reckon that our current speed is going to be 27 minutes before we get to Sukumi. Sorry, Mavis. Get some. Get some. Yeah, we should speed up a bit though once we level off. Target. Maximum boom boom. And we'll do the last couple of legs at stage one. Once the uh, fuel tank's gone. Area appears sterilized. Uh, mission I'm trying to think where 400 like? kilometers would get you in Germany from the south of England. Last I heard, they uh, schwacked everything. Um, hey, farmer, are we headed for home? Oh, she's going slow, and I don't know why. Going to the Royal Valley, I don't know. So, yeah, get you pretty far in. A hey, chop. Hello. Bankers here. Well, they never did a speed to tell him anyway, so it's not luck. Do you send bots to an F-14? Mm. Yeah, they were 250 last time I checked, but, you know, DCF tank. Broken my goddamn tank. There we go, there she is! We're out of the marshes. Where's the... where's the thing? Where's the dam, guys? I can't see the dam. Don't get me wrong, it's a lovely bit of water, but I don't want water now. I want a dam. Where is the damn dam? I see cows just machine gunning random houses. <laughs> and Germans more like, watch this, blood. You're about to set your face alight. Watch this. Command low key, we can now confirm the area around the dam is completely neutralized. Enemy targets. Dead. We're returning to base. Turn up Overlord, pop ups on your hills. Look at another flight launching. Ground copy, is uh, I assume it's from the airfield right in front of me? Correct. Yeah, be that, that's why I'm here. Overlord, uh, Loki Lead has a pair of A9s, so I can be assist. Do you know which way they're taking off from? They're taking off the uh, same direction you're traveling northwest. Copy that. Alright, I see him. Have fun, Thor. You can plan about in action. Bowden flight is outbound RTV yeah, right and uh, bingo fuel. Let me fly it. Overlord if you want. Uh, enemy contact's gonna be at broad 286 or 42 miles. This is so much faster in a freaking aeroplane. Damn, I found the dam! Confirmed, we are to be up at Tumi. I found the dam. Yeah, I don't think uh, Sinatra can tell you a couple of your hours because that would be technically landing in the middle of Germany somewhere. It's literally a dam. Charge, little tank, charge! Like well, you've well, never charged on before. The fact that the uh, mosquitoes landed there, Copeletti. No, 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 don't well, go weird, don't go weird. Got themselves some new, new mosquitoes there. <laughs> yeah, it does look pretty cool. Uh, I haven't seen many museums that allow you to sit in the cockpit. No, most of them, that's the last thing they want you to do, but, yeah. Uh, just follow that, I know you'll destroy it like that. You won't destroy it, it's an aircraft. You will double the travel at ludicrous speed and be, you know, wrecked by panicked pilots just desperately mashing the controls. Grump over, are you okay for that? Yeah, but I, I mean, I wish more. Overlord Grump is immersed with the uh, BF-109 right now, Python. Yep. Yeah, I guess it's a whole argument between the preservation on the one side, but also if you don't let people experience it, what's the point of preserving it? Yeah. Sure is. I hope you're all enjoying the very, very slow... Oh god, tanks are boring, guys. You can't go anywhere with tanks. Jets are so much faster and more fun. That's the one thing I've learned today. If I've learned anything. This guy is Captain Lewis and on the damage, is Looks like it. 
is not the right to kill because we've already done it. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Die! Get well, some! There might be some infantry somewhere, but there's definitely no triple A. There's a blitz well, on either side of the river, whatever that is. Damn it. Well, I'm gonna blow there's the fucking house up. There's buildings around here, that house. It's like the idea of the alternative to the dam buster's raid is just giving Cap 1 Abrams and making him drive all the way into the Ruhr Valley. Yes, yes it is. This is sexier. But it's nearly there. Overlord, grab this uh, Winchester and bugging out. <laughs> Alright, gonna drop the fuel tank. Okay, shoot at the console. So pull it until you're going to stage 1. Okay, welcome back, valued viewers. Uh, so, what was achieved? Chopsticks! Uh, we killed everything. Um, uh, well, it was Cypher got most of the buildings in the town. <laughs> uh, helicopters got one. Helicopters cleared out lots of the armor. You just destroyed the dam. <sighs> really is like clubbing seals, and that is something is, I'm yeah. really into, to be honest. But don't worry, a different mission is World War II, but comes forward in time, so that'll be good times. Oh, good lord. So what? We've got and bloody... We're get clubbed. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure I like that at all, if I'm honest. Right, okay. Um, so, right, we blew, blew the dam up, we blew every single target up, and I don't think anyone even died. Even I didn't die. Which is... something. There was a snafu with the KA-50s, but I don't know what happens to them. This mission is really old, and it's been updated uh, a few times. There you go. It that, kept man. getting pushed back. I blame Bendy. I think that's good. He's not oh, here to I defend usually, himself. Oh, Sounds good. <laughs> I usually pick on weak targets. Um, anyone... Any... Um, uh, Debrief from many groups. I can't remember. I haven't got a picture of the groups. I don't know who the groups were, but group, group, group. Odin's first whistler. That's what I said. Uh, Dan or yeah. Danny. No point asking me any shot. Any yeah, shot let me let else. me let me hit them up real quick. I can debrief for uh, three. Send. So we got uh, three mosquitoes. Uh, we started at two, but um, uh, Asina uh, didn't have a. P-51, so came also with a mosquito. Mm -hmm. uh, we went along uh, the river to blow up the bridge. Uh, two of us managed to get bombs on uh, target. I think they were really great shots. Uh, we took quite a bit of uh, AAA damage. Uh, Hasina uh, did crash on the egress uh, from the target. Oops. And Ali had a uh, severe damage on the airframe. We made it back to uh, Batumi. Uh, I landed safe. Unfortunately, uh, Ali had too much damage, uh, so crashed instead of landed. Roger. Uh, Mosquito, right? You guys? Yes. Did you come all the way from where we came from? No. Uh, we came uh, from uh, Batumi. Oh, there you are. Roger. Oh, well... Good. Well done for using period accurate weaponry anyway. That's good. RT and Heimdall escorted the mosquitoes. Uh, had a peripheral involvement in the warbird furball uh, on the way and then went back, caught up with the mosquitoes after they dropped their bombs in time to do a BDA and confirmed that they there were the bomb hits on the face of the dam in, right, in dead centre. Nice shots. And then flying back, and my Spitfire ran out of gas. Oopsie. So I did a sort of half a point landing, mm -hmm. uh, but survived. Okay. All right, next group, guys. You want we'll to have, uh, Odin? Yeah, I have Odin coming. Odin's back. Send Odin. So uh, Odin lead is landing at the moment. Mm. Uh, we are... Uh, three times strong. Uh, Thor joined us on the up because he's by himself today. Um, we s faced off against three flights by ourselves and uh, mixed in a bunch of kills. No one dead. And at the end, we were RTB, and Grump had to go in and uh, get things done on his own and uh, seems to be doing well. So that's pretty much a Bravo Zulu for our part today. Are we good? Yep. Sock has something to add. Send Sock. Uh, you might want to check the Fe the first Phoenix, my first four Phoenixes. Apparently, I got a ground kill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyways, 
Uh, adding on to that for Thor Flight Singleton F-16, took off with the F-14s, had a little bit of a tussle with a 109 in the beginning. It was kind of fun-ish. Uh, then the F-14s came in, killed everything, so I decided to go refuel. Did a successful refueling for the first time in the F-16. Very proud of you. And then uh, provided air cap over the enemy base while everybody else egressed out and uh, took down a couple of more 190s. And right now I'm heading towards Batumi for a landing. So uh, 100% success rate on our end. Roger. Next send. Has anyone got shot down anywhere? Next send. Okay, so that's low key. Uh, so we took off in the Harriers, which was quite a long, slow journey across. We took bags because it was quite a distance. We got over to AO, uh, and then we just started finding targets and plinking them. I was mainly trying to focus on uh, flak units of various kinds. Um, then I spotted that the there was a couple of speedboats up on the lake, so I mm. killed those. And then I realized a couple of the, the target buildings were left over, so I went in with those and uh, finished those both off with my guns, actually. Mm. Um, McCoby, I'd come up, don't, not quite sure what you got up to. Uh, just on ground kills. Mind you. Um, next group, whoever you are. Is that the Vigans or? It's the Hornet Cass. Track Duke Shaw or Shucks. Come on, boys. They're all muted. Right, Vigans. Yeah, we pretty much uh, went to the place, blew up the things, and got home. It was remarkably uneventful. It was very uneventful. We had lots of chats about physics on the way and stuff, um, which you'll enjoy in the movie. Um, and then I went, then the boys went off, and they still were doing another mission at the moment. I got in a tank and found everything had been blown up by the Harriers and the helicopters, and raged to quit after blowing up lots of civilians. Classic GR mission, then. Mm -hmm. Next. Oh, cat! we are also about no. to uh, drop bombs on a runway, so mm. if you fancy filming that, we'll... Too late, I'm out, and I'm now semi-rendering. But I trust you'll do very well. Do you still need the tag for you, Cap? Uh, no, not today, thank you. But keep recording them. Next group, guys, whoever you are. Uh, so the Heinz, we... For some reason, we couldn't load up individual weapons, but we could load up presets. It was very odd. But then we got loads of ATGMs and just blew up everything. You did well. Had a, hey, those Heinz, a lot of people... I see a, little people, a lot of people moaning on the quote-unquote forums. Ah, um, my hind can't kill a million targets like the K F fifty can say it's rubbish. Well, they come in and GR missions and absolutely mop up everything. Um, so they're always uh, they're always good fun to watch. Well done, boys. Uh, any losses on on hinds? Surprisingly, not. What? I did almost crash it a few times. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I can barely keep it in the air on its own, let alone under fire. It was tricky. <laughs> Early on, uh, Odin got uh, reports of those incoming first incoming flights, and we radioed to AWACS to tell you guys in the Heinz to get your asses down while we took care of that first wave. Oh, yeah, of course. That was yep, I set my first four Phoenixes. It was supposed to go over top of you guys <laughs> and hit them. Uh, yeah, I'm glad none of you got hit. I'm, uh, that could have been a very close one, guys. Um, uh, next group. There is yeah, one. I almost got killed by Danny with a phoenix. Next group, boys. It broke a lock, so you were fine. Uh, it's uh, me and the MIA. Hello, just... Tuxor! Hello. I just was a bus again, back and forth with some troops. Good. And dropped a couple of tanks off, which you... Drove off in one of them. Thank you. We don't like you killing things, so we know you're not very competitive. So this nice, is true. a nice leisurely drive is absolutely fine for you. I am a bus driver, yes. Yeah, correct. Right. Um, when guys, when we start going out on massive GR drinking nights, which we will do, Tux was so driving the freaking bus. Next group. Cap is an excellent driver, though. Uh, well, <laughs> not in real life. I'm not. Okay, I've crashed a yeah. lot of cars with. Sl <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Next. I think that would that would just be the KA50s left, is it? And they uh, send didn't their, have their a lot of fun. Were horribly broken for some reason. Ooh. we apologise, KA50s. Uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. Yeah, we've had two up or three updates since this mission was made. Oh, never mind. Um, it has been updated, but things get weirdly broken. Right, um, little fun mission. Obviously, massively one-sided, but it's to be honest, nice to be like that every now and then. Um, just some pleasure flying. Any final thoughts before I get to work in Ting? Tanker Sweets are uh, very, very low compared to what a Tomcat is supposed Oops. to fly at. It's also very, very low compared to what I set them at, so that's a DCS thing. Right. 
I don't know if you two to argue about that. I think I got the highest amount of air to air kills this game. How many? I think I got like six or seven. How many friendlies? Like Zero. Zero friendlies, though. Yes, I use my TV. I use my TV camera to discriminate every single one. I'm very proud. And you got credit for all my follow-ups where the sparrows didn't kill oh, them. So that's, that's, welcome. That's a whistler problem, I'm afraid. Well done, guys. I'm gonna get to work. Sparrow problem. I will see you guys later. See you, Cam. See you, Cam. Bye. See you, Cam. 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 See you,